Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to the Farm Life Outfitters channel. Um, we are doing our uh, garden tour today and uh, I'll show you around the garden. So this is the time of the year where the weeds take over. Uh, we are tearing things out and putting new things in. Um, so we're focusing today on tearing out our tomato patch. As you guys have seen, we had quite a few tomatoes this year. And all that's done, the tomatoes were not producing anymore. So um, it became a jungle. I mean, morning glories were six feet high. My cover crop was 10 feet tall. Uh, so I turned the animals in here. I brought the sheep in first and they pretty much cleaned it all up. And today we have the cows in. They are just going through and, and gleaning off the off the, the weeds and things like that. So, um, but I am taking down all the stakes in the garden and uh, taking up all the drip tape. Uh, if I leave the drip tape on the ground, the rats will chew a hole in it. So I'm taking all the drip tape up and putting it on the wires. And I will be putting down tarps where the tomatoes were to kill off the weeds and then we're going to plant a winter cover crop that will be uh, wheat and radishes and probably some turnips so yeah it's a there's a lot of work this time of the year to get things torn down and cleaned up and and uh, in preparation for next year so it's a lot of work it seems like more work than getting ready for the garden because it's I don't know just it's, it's, it's always hard taking things apart and, and it doesn't feel very productive or something but anyway it's got to be done in order for us to plant a garden next year and um, we also have some fall crops going uh, I've got some pumpkins right here that I'm hoping will produce before frost we also have uh, turnips and radishes and collards and I tried some beets but they didn't come up um, I'm going to be planting more turnips, more kale, uh, other things like that. We're going to have lettuce going uh, outside and in the greenhouse. And yeah, we're going to be cleaning up the greenhouse because I want to um, have some tomatoes growing in the greenhouse all winter. That's, that's kind of my goal. And I've also tried uh, grafting tomatoes and so far it's been successful. I took two plants and I grafted a rootstock, or I grafted a fruiting variety onto a rootstock, and so far it's still living. It's uh, three days since I've grafted, and I think it takes four to five days for the plant to heal. So, anyway, that's exciting because if, if I can graft the rootstock on the t onto the tomato plants, it makes them uh, disease resistant, more vigorous, and they yield more tomatoes. So but it's expensive. Those, those rootstock seeds are like 50 cents a piece. So I wanted to try it and see if I could do it. That was the first step. And then if it works, we're going to try, we'll probably try 50 grafted tomatoes next spring to see if we can tell any difference. And, uh, go from there. Why are you planting a tomato plant? I grafted it. What? Which means I took two plants and I cut the top out of one and put the top of the other one onto the bottom of, of the one I cut it off of. Huh? I had two plants. I'll put it back inside so it stays moist. I had two tomato plants like this and I cut uh -huh. both, both of them in half. And I took the top out of the kind that I want the, the tomato variety and put it on the bottom of the other variety. How do you which do is that? a rootstock. I'll show you on the next one, <clears throat> if this one is successful. You just cut them, cut them at an angle and then you just stick them together and they grow back together. Bed ups. Yep. It's my trial, trial for next year. But you have to keep them, keep them you have to keep them moist. Oh, okay. This thing. Yeah. The rootstock, the rootstock varieties are disease resistant and they're more vigorous. So you get more tomatoes if you can graft them onto those rootstocks. They're just expensive. How much did I tell you? 
It's like $900 uh, yeah, for... Uh, yeah, for as many as you are gonna... Something like that, yeah. yeah. They're like 50 cent a piece or something. Really? Yeah, the, the, the seeds are. The seeds are 50 cents a piece. Alright, spin inside everyone. What's planted here? Do you have stuff planted here? Yeah, I've got um, some beets, lettuce, and collards. Tiny, aren't they? Johnny gave me these flats. They are nice. There's 162 in each one. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yep. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's time to tear out the tomato patch. We're um, getting ready for next year. Starts in the fall of the previous year. So we're gonna tear all this out and uh, I'm gonna leave the wires and the post um, but we'll take the post out and the plants rake all the plants up because they have disease get them off the ground and probably burn them and then we'll put uh, tarps down to kill the grass and then we will plant a cover crop of wheat um, forage radish and turnips probably and then in the early spring, probably like February or March, we'll turn the chickens out in here and let them spend some time cleaning it up. And then we'll replant again. And it'll be good. What else? Mm -hmm. Anything else? I got my, my crew with me. Working hard. They won't, they won't eat the tomatoes, but they eat the morning glories that are growing up with the tomatoes. They will eat the fruit, though. I saw one of them eating a green tomato earlier. And I saw a huge hornworm. It was as big as my thumb. We didn't have any this year, did we? Or did you get them? I didn't them? have any. Oh, okay. I didn't think, I mean, you hadn't talked about them. The only thing, the only thing we had was aphids. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling, Rosebud. I gotta go in. We gotta go set up the fences. Okay. Well, did you hear? Did you see Ross's? <laughs> Some friends of ours are buying one of our cows who is coming with a calf and um, Adam and the kids are up here trying to get her loaded so let's go see how they're doing. I know, I just missed it. It was a little easier than last time. Yeah. Look at that baby! Is this on? No. She wasn't going at first, and then her calf jumped in there, and then she jumped in there for her calf. 
That's okay. not on. Okay. Thank you. I'll put it down. Isn't our cap so cute? Mm -hmm. I think they're going to name Shirley Claire eventually. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Aww. He just went FaceTime. And then they wanted to name. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and, and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with what we're doing this winter. Uh, you can tap the bell to be notified of our videos. And uh, if you like this garden tour, I know it's it, there's not much happening. There's lots of tearing out and, and preparation work, but um, like the video if you like it, and uh, check out our other our other content. Our Instagram at, at Farm Life Outfitters, uh, Facebook at Farm Life Outfitters, and yeah, keep up with our story. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye.